you know, you learn enough, uh, learn, you learn enough to get to a level where now you will make a whole new level of mistakes. It's going to happen. It's all kinds of levels in this game. It's going to keep going like that forever. Let's do something. First of all, before I forget, uh, there's something called putting the boot on. Put this picture in the Portuguese. It's similar to Spanish, but the, the verb to put is bota. The word boot is bota. So bota, bota means put the boot on. And that means this. Put your foot strong. That's the boot. Now, it's true. That will buy you some resistance. It will buy you some resistance. But realize it's a very bad habit if the heel lift is leaning. Just jog and put your foot there. He's, he's actually sticking his heel out and saying, my heel is right here. If you want it, just take it for free. Okay? I'm not really saying that, but body language. Okay? So if you put the boot on, Helix are not legal, okay, relying upon the rules, it's a smart tactic. If helix are legal, it's, it's the worst thing to do. So, so if you don't put the boot on, put your foot strong, you'll buy resistance. Now, even some of that, I can still straight the lock on me. Anyone else want to do Put the boot on, I, can, I, can, I still get some, okay, but I'm choosing my shoulder, okay. But put the boot on, put the boot on, it makes the heel look just done. That's all right, I should be warning. That's something to be careful. You can hurt yourself by putting, because you're flexing your muscles and you can maybe hurt yourself. Did anyone notice I made that noise before he even did the movie? <laughs> <laughs> that's just, happened enough times. That, that's just the answer to that question about the boot. Okay? The boot will buy you resistance against the average person, but it's a bad overall strategy for leg lock defense, not straight foot lock defense. Leg lock defense. Now, what if probably every second question has been this? Oh, Dean, I'm, a, I'm too far on the calf, and I can't adjust. Well, you can. It's just a, it's a move I call a seesaw. It's just this. Just relax. You're just, you're just fixing your grip. It. So I'm exaggerating. You're turning your whole torso and fixing it. So I'm creating space and taking the space back. I really can't scoot back with pressure. I have to actually release. It happens in judo, jiu-jitsu. Ways to create space and to stick, steal it back. All the time, wrestling as well. Okay? So here, I'm actually going to turn and just fix it. Okay? Turn and fix it. On the calf, turn and fix it lower, okay? And of course, I use my, my shoulder, and we got that. We don't have to break for that specifically, because that's something I just want to address. So just do it once I have a lock hands in your chest. Let's say we have the foot to our right. We're gonna relax a little bit, we're gonna twist, and we're gonna come back. And I, and I have to roll my shoulders down. So out, roll your shoulders, and come back. Even if you fix it three inches, that makes a difference, okay? That's all, okay? Now, ex exceptions to the rule. I said don't fall to your side. I'm not going to say that's the best for everyone. A lot of you are going to say, I, I like going to the falling side. You feel more pressure on the foot. It feels like they can't escape. Fine. The, the way that I would teach that is like this. And now a lot of you are going to be like, this is like way better than the first one. Okay? <laughs> Here. Here. This foot's going to come to the inner thigh. Like that. I would not do it like this. It's too open. He can jump right over. The Jocko knows he can escape right now. Very easy. Okay? That's why I didn't teach falling side. Because now people push, jump over. Push my foot down. See, so I'll put my foot back. As long as I don't fall to my side, it's not easy to do that. See? Push down. Go. So I'll keep it there tight. Okay? Push, if you push it down, go. Push over. I'll put it back. If I fall to my side, push it down, I cannot recover my foot. That's why I didn't teach that. Okay? But yeah, because to jump over, if he's fine. up, I have right. to use, I have to put this away and then I have to use my hands to jump over. Once he's on his side, I can just push it out of the way and just like, just move on top of it and yeah. get out of there. And then he has my foot too. See? So, so the way I would teach you now, if we are going to fall to our side, is put your foot here, put your other, almost like your toe is going to your heel, almost like that alignment. Now I fall to my side, and it's very tight. I smash, I push down to the ground, and it's very tight. This is even tighter and stronger than the other one. It's just that you are so committed, you don't have a second option now. So now Jocko's escaping this. I'm committed to one side, and I can't really, I can't really come up and have a see how he's going to get on top of me. Okay? So it only has a strength and a weakness. This will increase the power of your footlock, but it will take away from the idea that I can let go and pass. I can switch feet. Can't do that now. Okay? But you are having a stronger push pressure on the foot. Jocko, do that one more time. Actually, Jocko naturally falls to his side. I never say it's wrong. I'm just saying, look at this. Now squeeze together. Now fall to your side. So look what Jocko is. He's basically doing a guillotine on my foot. Pressure, go. Pressure. Go, let's go. That's how I finish my feet. You actually have to go. See, it's not. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Hey, you feel like doing this good job. It's been a lot of good years. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I actually have a permanent like like feeling loss on one of my feet because Jocko always go for this his one foot. Okay. So look at this. Yeah. So just a little strategy story. The in order to footlock Dean, I used to footlock him for like three days. I would footlock this foot and footlock it and crank it every single time. Crank it, crank it, crank it. He wouldn't tap, wouldn't tap, wouldn't tap. 
And finally, after like three or four days, because you will get, your feet will get sore in a different way than like your arm or a different way than your neck. Your feet will get sore and they'll become more sensitive, like injured, slightly injured. So I'll do that to be for like three or four days. And then finally on the fifth day, I would get it and crank it and eat that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, I have one about 10 matches telling my opponent in Portuguese, hey, I heard you have good foot locks go for my feet. And, and they would go like, all right, bro, I, I don't know about that, bro. And I'd be like, come on, man. We give me a little conversation in the match, and then finally I'll be like, hey, my foot's here. And they're like, fuck it, and they'll go for it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be like, oh, God, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> I went out with that a little time. Yeah, no, I, I will go for foot locks on Dean, and he'll literally like just look at me and just take my foot out and put it in his arm. And he has a, I have the superior position in foot locks. And I'm like, oh, that's awesome. It's funny though, it's, it's, Jocko's now got, what was the thing I would give my foot, and then like you would, you would just pass my guard and go, raw. Oh. But, because <laughs> <laughs> being so like, yeah, Pat, go ahead, footlock me. He goes, okay. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you're like, ah. <laughs> so, you know, if you know what your opponent's going to do before they do, you can use that against them as we make the point. This is what Jocko did. He fell down. That foot makes it very hard for me to jump over. So we're actually answering this question in a whole different way. Because the main thing I want to do is jump over the foot. Well, now we're blocking that, that thigh. And that's very important. If you don't have that thigh, you can jump away free. This is very important. You go to your stomach, you pull up, and you want your hands to flex up high. You don't want them low. Okay, so basically, a lot of review of what we did, but we're falling to the side. We have to push down on this side. Last time, Jocko? Can you show this side? Yeah, it's turned. Yes. He falls to his side. He blocks the hip. And this foot really needs to be there and, pre and press to the ground. This is great. But press with your foot to the ground. Ah, this is pressed hard to the ground. Push, push. Yeah, I can't pull this off. That's, that, that was good. Okay? It's correct. <coughs> this is like flimsy. I can pull it off. Okay? And now go to his stomach. Go, finish it. Go. Fuck that, bro. Sorry, it's sore now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, good job, nice job. Hey, uh, who here like knows heel hooks? Raise your hand. Okay, cool, cool. Well, interesting. Heel hooks are definitely legit. I mean, definitely, I, I've won off the two times out of my three with it, so I, I like it. Probably a one, one out of three of my MMA fights are from heel hooks. I have, I have one heel lock in MMA. They work, and yes, you can train them just as long as you press your partner. That's really important. I'm just pressure part and also take down the same way. So they're good, but the straight pull up is the foul, should be considered the foundation because it's more, more accepted. And if someone actually is a, a, a poor sport because the straight pull up gets mad at you, they, well, they didn't like it in the first place. Or, or they're looking for a reason to be offended. Well, that happens a lot nowadays for some reason. You look for to be offended for no reason, and now they're offended and now they're mad at you okay? because you beat them with a move that they don't know. Okay? The straight pull up is actually pretty, pretty mellow in the terms of what can injure you. Okay? Any more input on that? So let's add you now, let's fall to our side. And all these that we did today, which is actually only two main ones, you can go to heel hooks and they're so easy. That's what the foundation, where the legs are, where we turn, the distancing, that's more important and it overlaps with heel hooks. Questions? Let's go. Ready? Go! Oh. 